guess who decided to upload every single day from now on? Hey, to sweaty, that might change in the future. We don't fucking know. Well, I don't even know. Um, anyways, I, as, as you clearly see from the thumbnail and the title, we are doing the starter room challenge yet again. Same rules apply. Three maps. And we'll see on what map we get to the highest round in. I think I said that right, maybe. So the three maps we're going to be doing is Knocked Dirt Untoten. We will also be playing Zetsubo Noshima and Karod Krovi. Now, sit back, enjoy your popcorn, and let's get straight into today's video. Okay, so those of you that don't know what this map is, this map is probably regarded as one of the hardest maps in Zombies history because of how um, narrow minded it is and the star starter room challenge yeah you can train and all the rest of it but all you have is this gun uh this gun and that's it and you also have uh mule kick <laughs> mule kick is the only perk on this fucking map <laughs> which is freaking hilarious in my opinion um but anyways oh should we use war buy no screw it we use war buy on this map because why the hell not so this map was originally bought out in World of War, first of a zombies uh, map that uh, was ever created. So this map has a lot of royalty to it. Um, now I never played this map in the original World of War. I've only played this map on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and have seen this map on Cold War and on transit in the cornfields. I'm pretty sure those are the only times it has been shown. If I'm wrong, uh, place down in the comment section down below on where you've seen this map in other maps, you know? Um, so yeah, that's fun. Another thing about this map, this map is very, very small, as you can clearly tell from the start starter room. It's like a bad experiment went wrong. Well, that's like the war of zombies. Like an experiment went wrong and then everyone around the area turned into zombies and those zombies bit into other people and then they turned into zombies and it's just a train reaction. It's like when someone got COVID, they didn't stay inside. They went outside and gave it to everyone fucking else. That's supposed to be a joke. Thumbnails I'll be doing myself. I won't be drawing them, I'll be putting probably like a filter over it to make it look like it's been drawn. Because <laughs> I'm really lazy. Uh, and because with every single video I'm going to be bringing out, it's going to have captions in it. Because the new editing software that I'm using, uh, it's a little bit easier, but has more options is pretty good which is what I needed to extend my horizons with editing and all the rest of it. Editing is very very fun. I love editing videos uh, for you guys because it makes it a little bit more interesting and all the rest of it. Now the Warzone video that's gonna be very very interesting because I took it took me like four hours to edit that video not even freaking joking. Um, the captions were being a little bit of a bitch um, sorry for the language, but like it was being a cunt. So what happened was I downloaded the video and the audio was muted the whole time. So I did delete the video again. I, I redid it. I unmuted it. I downloaded the video and the captions weren't even on the video. So I had to go back and fix that. I downloaded the video again and um, the memes I put in the video weren't in the video. <laughs> so I gotta fix that. I had to fix that. And it just took so freaking long to just piss fart around and do that shit. But I got it done in the end. And that video is done and will be uploaded on Monday. I'm pretty sure this video will be uploaded probably Saturday night for everyone. Or Sunday morning, like at 12pm. Because I think what I'm gonna do is every single video daily will be uploaded at 12 p.m. So a video will be done before a day beforehand and then upload the next day, like scheduled to upload on the 12th, 12 p.m. Because I still have coursework to do. Like I have coursework Monday and Tuesday to get to and that starts around like, I think it was shit, like 10 o'clock to like three o'clock. So that means on 
Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna be staying up all night, basically editing a video, making a video, and all the shit. So that's fun. So the Tuesday video, so the Wednesday video, you're gonna be hearing it in my voice. I'm probably gonna be really tired or really drained, <laughs> whichever fucking one. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, I love making myself suffer. The goal still stands on getting a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and only you guys can make that possible so if you guys enjoy this video please make sure to uh subscribe like and comment because i love reading comments as well they fill me with such joy um and i hope spuddy uwu comments on this one because he usually um makes really long paragraphs now i will be shouting out every single person that comments on my videos i'm so sorry that i've done it in a while but i'll be, I'll be doing it now in these videos uh huge shout out to um dorito pro and huge shout out to spuddy uwu i really hope everyone's enjoying the video layout unquenchable is freaking useless I'll be very surprised if we make it past round 6 because uh, around round 6 is where it starts to get a little bit hectic or round 8 I think or some shit because I played this map with my friend Piggy um, 2 days ago or a day ago or some shit and we made it to like round 29 or yeah 29 because we were trying to get to round 30 uh, but we fumbled pretty hard and the reason why this is so hard is because there's no jug in the starter room well obviously it's a starter room it doesn't have many perks um and i'm glad it has gobble gum because gobble gum is pretty useless useful sorry not useless oh my god i'm a bit dumb sometimes when i'm under pressure from the zombies um ooh, max ammo let's go Poggers. the shiva is actually really good for a starter weapon I hope with Black Ops 6 Zombies, or just Black Ops 6 in general, that they have a lot of guns for me to grind because I'll be doing camo, camos, like getting all the camos done in that game. And I will also be um, doing all the challenges I can possibly think of on the uh, BO6 maps. Um, so you guys are going to see a recurring theme of uh, the same maps for different challenges. <laughs> I think the first challenge I'm going to be doing on the BO6 maps after I do a playthrough probably be starter room challenge or a uh, one box challenge because the one here in the mystery box is actually kind of fun because like it's just all about luck of the draw really. Why am I even spinning this? There's no point. And I've already gotten two wall by guns so I can't really get that. It kind of sucks. I should have not um, gotten a second gun. I would have survived longer if I didn't get it. But we're at round six, my round prediction, so that's pretty dope. Okay, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Fuck, can't jump over. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright, as you can see, the next map is Zetsubo no Shima. Starter room challenge. Um, is there a gun in the starter room challenge of this map? Oh my god, the starter room is actually pretty big for Zetsubo no Shima. Holy shit, okay, that's cool. Um, when I first played this map, I hated it because I got insta-killed by a big bubbly fuck. Not even joking, he annoyed the shit out of me. Um, so... I probably, I probably would have put him up on screen. I think the RK5 is the only gun in the starter. Oh, never mind. I, how the hell did I miss the Shiva? This map is actually like a really cool zombies map. I actually like it. Like the colors, the colors and just the um, area. It's just so unique. That's what I like about it. It's unique. I feel like... Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 are the two best Call of Duties. Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 are the best games that uh, Treyarch has ever released, in my opinion, because it's just it's so much better. Um, I know a lot you of people are going to be in the comment section right now and be like, what about Black Ops 1? I really don't care about Black Ops 1. I barely played it and I don't have much of a... Um, 
care factor for Black Ops 1. I do apologize about that, guys. But sooner or later, I will play Black Ops 1. It's just a... Um, can't be stuff. <laughs> I think with this map, I'm gonna have a um, better game. So place your round prediction in the comment section down below on what round I'm gonna make it to on this map. It's a it's a big it's a big area, so I might survive a while. Oh my god! I oh, don't mind. I can't even train in the water. I don't mind. If that whole water was shallow, I could have trained in that water. And like survive a really long time because that's like an open water. So, and that doesn't mean that we will die due to. Um, it'll all be funny if we die before round six. It'd be freaking hilarious because what's stopping a zombie from like windmilling the shit out of me and just teabagging my corpse? I know if I was a zombie and I like. Someone Double swap someone, I would be literally teabagging them and like saying the most cuss words I can think of. At the moment, I have my coffee with me. Drink coffee because coffee gets me through today. <laughs> I think coffee is the way I cope with uh, depression. I mean, everyone, ha everyone gets depression. Oh, spiders. I clearly forgot that spiders. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, never um, play this uh, map if you have arachophobia because, um, yeah, that's fun. And apparently they're adding um, spiders into Black Ops 6, so that's kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Anyways, that was a free round. Let's go, round 6. My goal is to get to round 7 at least on this map. <laughs> uh, it's my goal. What the f fuck is that? My controller is vibrating. What the hell is going on? Wait, don't tell me that the big fucking thing spawns on round seven. I swear on everything that's all. If he spawns on round seven on a starter room challenge, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. I'm not even joking. I Man, I cried myself to sleep last night. I'm not gonna say the reason why. Um, <laughs> oh shit, not. Oh my god, see? Anytime, any place that you can get a double swipe and freaking die. I'm not even joking. Shit is ridiculous. Now, realistically, I'm for the head will be. I, um, I was not paying attention to behind me. I was not paying a fucking attention. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Shit. I, well, I guess if you if you guess round six, we got round six on that map. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god! Look up in the sky. There's a dragon. Another dragon. And. Where the hell are the other dragons? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> There's usually a lot of dragons, but anyways. Um, the next map is Grod Krovi, as I said, the starter of the video. And the start... I completely forgot that the starter room for this map is actually really um, weird. So we're not going to survive very long on this map as well. So that fucking sucks. Oh my god, it's Koko vibe. No, mind, we might actually survive a little bit. Because when, when playing solo, um, when you get quick revived, you, um, when you get down, you get like an extra life. It's really cool. Um, and the fact that um, when you're playing with other people, quick revive turns to 1,500. Which I reckon the self revive should be 1,500 and quick revive should be 500. Because the, the self revive is way more OP than the... Um, uh, quicker vibe that you get when you're playing with your friends. I wonder if they actually got kids to pose like this as reference so they can do this. I wonder. I mean, they maybe would have. I don't know. My nose is extremely runny right now. You have no idea. Like, holy shit. Round three. Let's go. You know what? Let's uh, use wall power. Might as well. Not self medicated. Or self medication. No way. I don't need that. I'm not planning on getting to round 10, not on this map. No way in hell. I'm, I just can't be fucked. <laughs> I think round 6 is probably gonna be the round that we make it to on this map. If we get to round 7, I guess I do better on this map. Oh my god, noob, let's go. Hoggers. I think that's probably like the end of the round. I think. Yeah, it is. Let's go. 
absolutely insane. Don't need this, but I'll pop it. Yummy double gum. And wall power. Let's go. Hoggers. Okay, uh, let's go get the RK5 real quick. There's a white owl not. Oh my god, it's a blue camo. That's cool. I wonder how long it, uh, I will last. Uh, it's a freaking two shot. With pack a punch RK5 and it's round four. I oh, don't mind, it's a one tap. I, I take it back. We should survive a little bit longer now. And uh, maybe like round 10. I literally just said I couldn't be fucked getting to round 10, but here I am, like, making it so I get to round 10. The hell is wrong with me? Oh, <laughs> uh, god damn it. Oh well. The longer the video, the better, in, in my opinion. Kill these zombies. Uh, two, and. Ooh, oh shit, another zombie. Dead. Let's go, round five. Take a sip of my coffee again. Do you guys, like, the OG fans, do you remember, like, when I used to, like, every single video, crack an energy drink can and make you guys guess in the comment section down below and what energy drink I'm drinking? Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. <laughs> uh, I was getting heart palpitations and I was getting a little bit chubby. For some reason, they have a lot of calories in one can. Uh, if you drink enough. Well, if you drink them, like, it's in your ass all day. Um, but where's all that energy going? Like, you're not burning the energy you're getting from the energy drinks, so... It goes straight to your, like, stomach or around your heart, which is not good for your heart. I really like the look of this map, but this looks really cool. Oh my god, zombie heading up in the sky, what the hell, that's... I love how it's still a one-tap on round six. Like, the RK5 is pretty good, it's a good point builder. Like, who doesn't love a good point builder in a zombies game? Oh my god, I got a camo for the RK5, let's go, boggers. As you can see, I've like barely played Black Ops 3, like I did max out the cameras and all the rest of it, so yeah. Alright, uh, round 7, let's go. We successfully made it past round 6, I think that's because of the pack punch RK5, but anyways. Oh my god, is that, I didn't realize that, is that a dead, that is definitely a dead dragon, like holy shit, that's actually really detailed, that looks really cool, what the hell? That's actually, what the fuck, that's so cool, anyways. I wonder what the highlights are gonna be like uh, in this video. Can't wait to see them. Anyways. If you guys had to like, pick something that you're most excited about with Black Ops uh, 6, what are you most excited about with Black Ops 6? Like, I'm most excited about um, them bringing back double gums. And there's actually two things I'm most excited about. Round base and double gums. And also the camo grind, so that's like three things. Um, I think what they're doing is bringing back old camos or um, from all the previous Black Ops, Black Opses. Um, which is kind of annoying because I want new mastery camos. Like, that actually look really cool, um, but apparently they're getting lazy. I mean, you never know, it might just be a leak and yeah. Round day, let's go. Absolute legend over here. Uh, it's starting to become a two tap with the RK5 and it's gonna start to become a little bit hectic. Which is fine. I think the goal is to get to round 10, so I don't feel trash at the game. I mean, I'm using a pack punch gun, so if I don't get to round 10, that says a lot about my game gameplay and my skill level. Oh my fucking god, yeah. Let's go. Oh my fucking god. I completely forgot about the quicker vibe that I have. Oh my god. Oh my god, the fucking windmill. Oh, you can go this way? What the hell? I didn't know that. What the hell? I didn't even know you can go over here. That is actually really cool. We can get close up. Oh, that is disgusting. I, I don't even know why the hell I just did that. You guys just saw, like, blood and guts. Alright, kids, look away. Oh my god, look at the inside of this shit. Oh my god. That's really highly detailed for some reason. Holy shit. Anyways, kids, you can uh, un uh, cover your eyes. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? Okay, what is that? 
Oh, I think I destroyed that. Like, wait, I got instant down. I had quicker five. I got insta killed. I had quicker five though. I literally had. Quick what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.